This raucous band is able to honor their musical heroes while still pushing the musical limits. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with Kasabian. Hey, So tell us the origin story of Kasabian. When I was 16, 17 years old, uh, I met a guy called Sergio Pisano, and it was around the time the Britpop was really huge in that, and uh, he said to me, uh, would you like to sing in a rock band? And I thought, you know, why not? We went to school together and all that, and uh, but we were in different separate classes, different kind of gangs and that. Rehearse relentlessly, you know, like a religion, three or four times a week, then one day, we just fell in the hands of a uh, you know record company. We got signed, and now I'm here. I'm now 31. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, who did you grow up listening to? I mean, who are some of your main idols and icons? Well, you know, of course, you know, my, my idols, you know, I think everyone's was pretty much the same. Michael Jackson was my idols in the 80s, uh, being a kid in the 80s. Uh, I did, I was brought up on Motown music, because my, my parents loved that, and to Carpenters and, and Patsy Klein and stuff like that. So, it was, yeah, a nice musical background, I'd say, yeah. I was going to ask uh, any influences we might not expect, but I did not expect those. Yeah, so. well, yeah, there you go. How do you think you guys have evolved from album to album? Like, what does each album represent? Well, the first record, you know, we lived on a farm, what we made, so... And we were very under the influence of something at the time, you know, which was great, and it's kind of hazy space, uh, looped beats and stuff, you know, and, and it's quite space rock, you know, and the second album, Empires, was like a really... We went through a really, pretty, pretty bad time with that record, because we lost a band member, uh, and everyone was drinking quite heavily, so it was quite an aggressive record, you know, quite a loutish record, and uh, beer fueled, and it wasn't, it was a weird period for us and, and the band. And, and the uh, West Rider was, we were going to make a concert album, I grew my hair long down here and dressed up, you know, for the front cover, did something a bit funny, a bit, bit, bit crazy, you know, <laughs> but, uh, and that was our psychedelic record. And our last album, Velociraptor, was just a good, great pop album, you know, with pop songs on, so. I don't know what the next record is going to be like. <laughs> anyway, so. so let's talk about Velociraptor. Any great stories from the writing and recording process and what you guys were going for? Do you know what? We pretty much, uh, we basically Serge got a load of songs together and uh, I, I thought, you know, we were going to record it late last summer and, and I was praying to God it would get on with it and record it quickly you see because I can't I don't want to be left at home for a, a six or eight months not doing anything or touring it's numb it's quite numbing for me you know and uh, he was like I've got all these songs and we're going next month I was like wow you know because we only finished touring like September and we're back out again so I was like brilliant so we went to San Francisco and we did the vocals with Dan the Automator and it was great you know What made you guys choose to document the recording process? You've got to document your life, haven't you? You know, I suppose. it's nice to look back. You know, <laughs> it is. You know, is it for you or for the band? For, 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 first, for me and and the, and, and the band. You know, all, all of us. You know, it's. I'm, I'm, like, I'm saying when I'm like 45 or 50, I like imagine an anthology or something on the band or or, or a film on us. It'd be amazing. We've got so much footage, you know, and footage when I, you know, when we were 18 and. <laughs> You know, it's amazing. Do you like to watch your stuff back? Well, I sometimes get a bit weird with it, you know. If I'm drunk, then I love it, you know. I think it's brilliant. I can sit down and keep watching it, you know. Yeah. 